Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has won a majority in the upper house, exit polls suggest. His Liberal Democratic Party and its junior partner New Kome Ito were set to get at least 71 of the 121 seats being contested, broadcaster NHK projected. This would give him control of both houses of parliament for the first time in six years. The deadlock in parliament has been seen as a key factor in Japan's recent revolving door of prime ministers. Official results are not expected until Monday. But the exit poll suggested Mr. Abe's coalition would control 130 seats in the 242 seat upper house. Half the seats were being contested in Sunday's election. Media reports said voter turnout was low. Search for stability. Reacting to the exit polls, LDP Vice President Masahiko Komura told NHK, people wanted politics that can make decisions and an administration with a stable grounding, which led to today's result. Abenomics is proceeding smoothly and people want us to ensure the benefits reach them too. That feeling was strong, he said referring to Mr. Abe's economic proposals. Japan's upper chamber, while not as powerful as the lower house, is able to block legislation introduced by the government. Opposition parties have had enough combined seats to control the upper chamber in recent years, leading to what has become known as a twisted parliament. This has resulted in factionalism and multiple changes of prime minister. We need political stability to carry out policies, Mr. Abe said ahead of the vote. Mr. Abe, 58, has relatively strong public support for his proposals for economic reform, which seek to revive the economy, stagnant for two decades. Since his coalition government came to power, the economy has grown by 4% and the stock market by more than 40%. His first two measures involved a big injection of cash by the Bank of Japan and a major boost in government spending. But he now faces the task of driving through difficult structural changes to the economy. Trade barriers need to come down, taxes will need to rise and large parts of the economy will have to be deregulated, the BBC's Rupert Wingfield Hayes reports from Tokyo. One of the decisions he will have to make later this year is whether to raise sales tax next April from 5% to 8% to help reduce Japan's national debt. Mr. Abe is also considering whether to cut Japan's 36% corporate tax to spur growth and open up the power industry currently controlled by regional monopolies. And his government is keen to join a free trade agreement known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP, being negotiated by 11 countries. Mr. Abe is also thought likely to endorse several controversial policies beyond the economy. These include restarting Japan's nuclear reactors, something many in Japan are opposed to. A possible revision of Japan's pacifist constitution, especially a section which prohibits the use of force in international disputes except for self-defense, may also be a priority. But correspondents say pursuing nationalistic policies may cause tension with neighboring countries.